in this uh, video we'll talk about how we can use different calculation strategies uh, for same um, one calculation so basically when we have a calculation in front of us there are many methods we can use and uh, sometimes some methods are faster than others and sometimes we don't remember one method so we, we can always switch to another method so if we practice this way we'll be able to optimize or make our, our, our brain works much faster for the calculation so uh, let's do this uh, I'll take an example of uh, 66 multiply with 44 so if you, if you look at this uh, first thing which comes to our mind oh this is very easy because both of them are multiple of 11 so I can write it as 11 multiply with 11 multiply with 6 multiply by 4 right so that will be equal to 11 multiply by 11 multiply by 24 and I know how to multiply 11 and 24 I have to just write 4 4 plus 2 so that is 6 and then I have to write 2 so that will be this and then I have to multiply again with 11 so again I have to write 4 then I have to add 4 and 6 that will be equal to 10 1 will be carry over then I add 4 and 6 and 2 that is 8 carry over is 1 so it's 9 and then 2 in the end so that is the answer so this is fairly quick now what is if I don't recall this method I, I want to use some other method or if but if they are not multiple of 11 right so now let's let's think about uh, 66 multiply by 44 so what else can be done uh, if you think about this these are symmetrical so we can write it as 55 plus 11 multiply by 55 minus 11 right so in that case it will be equal to 55 square minus 11 square so uh, although I'm writing these methods you can quickly do this uh, in your mind big I'm, I'm just writing it so that it's simpler to understand so if you remember 55 square so how do I do 55 square so that's equal to first digit into first digit increment that's equal to 30 and then add 25 in the end so we have 3025 minus 121 uh, how do I subtract this so you know 25 is greater than 21 so it's just a 0 4 and then 29 so that's the answer again yes they both match so is there any other method we can use so suppose uh, both of them the methods we used above are not applicable they don't have a even distance between them or they don't have 11 in them so in that case let's say 44 multiply by 66 so how will I do this calculation I can write it as 66 multiply with 50 minus six now that will be equal to 66 multiplied by 50 minus 66 multiplied by 6 now if you think about this you can, you can write this as 66 divided by 2 into 100 so that's equal to 3300 that's that's quick and then in this case you can write it as 11 multiplied by 36 so 11 into 36 will be equal to 6 and 3 plus 6 is 9 and 3 so it's 396 or we can write it as 3000 minus 96 that will be equal to 2904 and that's what we had before so these are uh, three different methods you can use and 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 once you get used to this uh, these methods will run parallel in your mind and, and eventually one method will 
okay, give you the answer and then you can kill the other methods and uh, I hope uh, this video helped and um, uh, to revise some of the tricks we had before and uh, also to uh, practice and how you can go about this calculation so I hope this video helped